What a perfect place to build. <laughs> This is perfect. The rates are treated never people they cut like. They never even get the parts. I said they cut our life on Sunday. Hey, we don't go church. Can you imagine? Ah, ah. be Bernard be this. Nah, 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 Bernard. Man, this guy just know the use. Get all the use Wow. He you know why would be responsible for once? You don't think to stop all. You see when you spread the hands, spread leg. Can you imagine? I hear no disable. For make sense, we carry and go house. Mother, please, file. Mo just help and carry and go out. Uh, how about this one? I'm just leave that one. I'll be your drinker. You don't hold on way back. Wow. That near grand door. Madam. Oh no, yeah, they go. Give me two bottles. Benadi! Benadi! How did I offend you? Did I them see me jogging? God, why did you give me this kind of son? What did I do to you to deserve this kind of son? Can I am major? Bernard, all you do is go about, drink yourself to stupor, bring a shame to this family. Nothing good has ever come out of you, Bernard. Look at yourself. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Good day, ma. Good day. Um, please, can I talk to you? Talk to me. Yes. About what? By the way, who are you? Um, I am Prophet Silas, the prophet of truth and justice. As I was walking towards this direction, the Spirit of God revealed to me something about your son. And I want to tell you about it. When? I can see in the Spirit that this your son has brought shame to your family. In fact, each time you look at him, you are bitter because you feel he is not useful to the family. But there is something I am seeing in the spirit that is responsible for what is happening to him. Please don't be offended, but I have to say it the way I've seen it in the spirit. I can see in the spirit that what your son is passing through is caused by you. What did you just say? I am responsible for what is happening to my son. My own son. Mamu na form. Do you know what you're talking about? Mommy, you see, I'm not saying the words of my own. I am not giving my own prophecy. But I am telling you what the Spirit of God has revealed to me. Okay. Can you take your mind back to some years ago when this your son was young? When he used to be stubborn? Can you remember your reactions to him? Each time he proves stubborn to you. Bernard! Bernard, come back here! Bernard, come back here! I'm calling you running away, Abby. No problem. You say you, Bernard, come out to wash place in this house. You will not wash. Look at how everywhere is looking. I've got to the bucket and I'm back. Okwagua, you don't want to be useful. Since you don't want to be useful in your life, you will never be useful. You, Bernard, you will never be useful. Ewu, I'm not fair. You will come back and meet me in this house. Can you now remember? Yes. I can see in the spirit that when this your son was young, you were making a lot of negative pronouncements on him. You were calling him all sorts of ugly names. And that is what is affecting him now. You see, there is power in the tongue. That is why we have to be very careful with what we say. Those years, you were calling him all sorts of ugly names. The demons that were responsible for carrying out the, 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 the efficacy of that name took those things up and they began to effect it in his life. That is why his life is like this. 
So there is no amount of expectation you have on him for him to be a good person. The only thing you need to do is for you to truly forgive this your son from your heart and embrace him. Bring him close. Pray for him and break every cause, reverse every negative statement you have made on him. Reverse them, then bless him. That is the only way light will come into his life. If not, his life will remain like this. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Hey, Bernard. Nothing wrong. Hey, I didn't know. I didn't know that I was correcting you. Eh? I'm sorry. Hey, I'm not doing well. I'm forgiving you. 